Hey Pinecrest, it's Jeff. I just wanted to invite you out to the church on Thursday, May 7th, which is this Thursday, and encourage you to come out and join us in a time of prayer. If you will come underneath the covered entryway to the sanctuary, there will be prayer guides there. You can pick one up and it'll take you around the different areas of the church where to pray. Uh, the very first one will be right here at the doors to the sanctuary. And so come on up and join us May 7th. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour of where you're going to go. After you leave here, you can go to the cross this way, or you can go around this side of the church and go over to the nursery. So let's go to each of those spots. All right, so if you made your way around to the cross, I would encourage you to stop here. The prayer guide will give you some stuff to pray for. You can stand around the cross. If you want to bring a chair, you can, and maybe just sit here and spend your whole time uh, praying at the cross would be awesome. But one of the things I would encourage you to do is pray for the salvation of the lost in your life, for that one that we've been encouraging you to pray for and to reach out to. All right, as you make your way along the side of the building here, you can come up to the children's entrance. It's the one that says children here. And you can come right to this area and you'll be encouraged to pray for the children's ministry of our church and the things that are happening in that area. Around the corner from the children's area, there is the library and our adult building. We encourage you to stop here and to pray for them and the ministries that are represented inside that building also. All right, when you make your way to the youth building, you can stop right here underneath the covered awning and pray for our youth. I will actually have a list of all the youth that I know that are involved in our church. And I encourage you, if you have the time, to pray for them by name. Mention them and their families as you ask God to be with them. All right, we'll also encourage you to stop here at the back door to the preschool department and pray for the children and for the workers involved in our preschool ministry. Now, each of these are just some suggested areas to stop at. You know other needs. You may want to stop at the office doors and pray for our office staff and for us during the day. There are many things that you can pray for as you walk around the church. Uh, these are just a few suggested stops that we're giving you and ask you to be a part of. And if you're watching this video and you don't feel comfortable getting out, we encourage you to stay right where you are and to have a time of prayer for all these different areas that we just went to and for the things that are on the prayer guide and for our country and for everything you can. If you can just stop on Thursday and make it a priority to, to talk to God about the things going on during this time, we'd really appreciate it. It's good to see you and thanks for being a part of Pinecrest.